Noble leader, seek immediate medical attention. Noble leader, please respond. Please respond, Sierra 259. You are alarming me. Not sure how long she's gonna stay together. Skies are jammed up anyway. Gotta get you off her, Lieutenant. Sir, you don't want to hear it. Get the package to the autumn. Done. Not yet, it's not. Emil, go with him. It's a ground game now. It's been an honor, sir. Likewise. I'll do what I can to draw their fire. Six. That AI chose you. She made the right choice. On my mark. Mark! Hello there, and you're joining us in Reach's final Desperate Hours. Um, you've got Ben here, Simon, and a new recruit, Nikki, over there. And we're just going to blaze through the final level of Halo Reach in our last segment of Halo Highlights in the build-up of Halo 4. Oh, it's not, not too far away now, Ben. Oh, shit, I've got three bars of health left. <laughs> and there's not been a single bullet fired. <laughs> Um, I just want to say that uh, you're looking through Ben's eyes here, and I'm the good-looking chap in the red and white stripes, and uh, Nikki's the girl. <laughs> <laughs> right, has anyone remembered the buttons then? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm pretty familiar with Reach. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Uh, you're down, you're down. Fucking gang raped. Right, so yeah, this is the final level of reach. It's uh, all dramatic. And we're basically trying to race across these shipyards to get the Pillar of Autumn to deliver Cortana, or a fragment of Cortana to uh, the Pillar of Autumn, so it can get off reach with the Master Chief and find its way to Halo. Yeah, because it's something like they picked up a, in one of the books, I think it's this part of uh, Fall of Reach, where they find this rock that has some weird glyphs on it or something. And yeah, I think it's not a crystal or something that they're yeah, yeah, I think that the fragment of Cortana that we are carrying, because the chief has the full Cortana in his in his helmet. Yeah, she can bring in fragments to do different things, and I think that, I think they've uh, reconnected it in this uh, game, retconned it in this game to uh, make it so that we uh, the artifact that she's been decoding was uh, the location of Halo. Yeah, because originally we jumped in a random jump and found Halo completely by accident, wasn't it? Yeah, it was just completely by fluke, and the, the Covenant were as surprised as we were. Whereas now it's like we were actually, like Dr. Halsey had a prediction that this, you know, oh fuck, you just remember. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you had forgotten some. Right, I'm just I'm sure walking. Emil will be around in like a year, <laughs> by the time he figures out how to reverse park. We were playing this the other day, and he just, I was on the back of Emil's car, and he just got off and started walking. Yeah, the, the Oh, he's AI just done it again, and yeah. he's left me a mongoose in front of me. The AI in Halo's never been very good uh, for for um, allies. For allies, it's, it's it's always been pretty good for enemies. Oh shit! No, I, yeah, the, I mean enemies really do use tactics. They like they like to flank and use grenades to flush you out. Oh. Uh, well, maybe you should shoot more. If you killed more, you would be alive. I want to I want to take out uh, I want to take out scarabs. I'm not sure if we can. I don't know. Are these? Do you fight scarabs any other time in this game? Uh, no. This is the you know, this is the only time you see a scarab. Because I, I only the only time I ever remember actually fighting one properly is in Halo Three, where you fight quite a few. You fight you fight one in Halo Two, don't you? Well, n well, it, not really. I mean, it's part of. What's the ones where you've got to go up and jump on the backs? Yeah, that's the scarabs. Where you got to blow the legs off. Well, you've got to weaken the legs so they dip, and then you can climb up the back, so you can get a flying vehicle, and or you can jump off something high on them or something. 
But uh, I mean, they're in Halo 2, but you don't really fight one so much as it's part of the level. Enemy oh, fuck. Yeah, I mean, you don't actually blow it up, do you? The end of the level is you going into the control room and deactivating it. Yeah, it's like a big set piece. It's not really like a proper enemy like they are in this game. Oh, well, not this much this game, but Halo 3. Tell you what, right, after we. I'm, I'm not sure if we've been talking about Halo Wars at all in this, but Scarabs can fuck off in that game. They're like the super weapon for the Covenant in that game, though, aren't they? Like the top tier unit. Well, yeah, because you can't command your troops to climb on its back if you, like, tell you men to fire on it. They'd literally just stand and shoot it. <laughs> Can you not get Spartans to do? Oh, what the fuck? I just got completely blindsided by a ray. <sighs> oh, I'm, I just got completely blindsided by a ray. <laughs> that ray's causing problems, I think. I'll, I'll get it, don't worry. <sighs> oh shit, no, I won't. There's about a million brutes in my way. Yeah, there's quite a lot, I know. Oh shit, shit. So, let's, uh, this level is called Pillar of Autumn, because we're racing towards the Pillar of Autumn. And chronologically, the very next episode, the very next level, is also called Pillar of Autumn, Ben. Indeed it is. Uh, it is the very first level of Halo Combat Evolved, or Halo 1 as it's more commonly known. Oh shit, fucking... That's a meal. Right, let's just, uh, we've, we've taken out the tank, so let's just plough through. What, what, are we on Heroic, Ben? Yeah, it's, I don't know whether it's because we've been playing a lot through the different games, but we seem a lot more efficient than we did last time. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this is already seeming a bit easy. Easier. I was playing on, when I did the Halo 2 one by myself the other day, um, I was amazed how easy that was. I was only playing on normal for the sake of not dying over and over again, but it just, I don't know, I just waltzed through that level without much of trouble at all. Which uh, which level did you pick? Oh, um, one yeah, of the. I, I, I did outskirts and a bit of the, uh, the first bit of um, is it Metropolis? Oh, when uh, you're on the you're on the tank going over the bridge. Yeah, well, I thought the tank was oh, a fun thing to do. Um, you don't have five power. Oh, this is one of the, the dramatic moments. The last the uh, one of the last members of Noble Team. Who've been? Uh, oh, this is you don't like this bit, do you, Nikki? No, this uh -oh. bit is alright. I don't like the bit where I die. Oh, <laughs> I think that says a lot. It's like, ah, oh, fuck everybody else. And Jesus, spoilers. <laughs> I was really upset the first time I played through this. Did you not know that you were going to die? I mean, it was... I was kind of hoping that we just jumped on the Pillar of Autumn, but then it was like, where <laughs> yeah. the fuck did he, where the fuck like, did he no. go after that? I was like, no, he asked you to go, why didn't you just go? We had to take out the supercarrier? I know, especially because it was my little pink helmet at <laughs> <laughs> I actually quite like it how it's your helmet it, at the very beginning of the game it shows you your helmet and yeah. it is actually your helmet it's not just a generic Spartan helmet I never thought the drones really fit in with the Covenant awesome. they never seem to you know when uh, it's if I was the Covenant and I had this sort of airborne fucking annoying unit I would use them when there's like other enemies around because they, they literally you take all in. your attention has to be on them. Well, isn't that their actual like purpose within the Covenant from a storyline aspect? It's basically to confuse traditional land-based forces. Well, that makes that well, like, no, I, I completely understand that. But if you've got like, imagine if there was like elites and grunts running around on the ground with us, as well as having to look into the sky for these guys. Yeah, it would not be pleasant. I always fucking love it when you get to melee them, because it's just like... <laughs> anyway, I hear the thing, has anybody ever managed to assassinate them? Oh, that's a good question. I doubt Oh, you must be able to. This is Reach, you can do anything. This is another enemy that doesn't appear in any other game, despite never really been explained, its absence being explained, is the skirmishes, but we're fighting now. Yeah, I hate them as well. They're like big jackals, really. I believe they are uh, a cousin of the jackal. What, is that the whole thing that they get wiped out on reach? Because <laughs> you never see them again. In fact, there was only that this one unit. <laughs> no, this is... Uh... I was thinking about this the other day, right? I've played through this game a million times. Like, 
campaign wise like and time wise because I've done this game on legendary solo and I have never remembered there being marines here at this point probably because they get wasted when you're in legendary oh, oh I mean fuck off just fuck you look off. like you're a bit in uh, hot water there mate just look on top yeah. that nice that'll come in handy for the elites Ooh. Oh, and, and a DMR. Nice. DMR, man. Bread and butter weapon. Here's my question, though. We get pretty much both the DMR, the assault rifle, and the battle rifle in Halo 4. Yeah, um, and we get the light rifle and the Covenant Carbine. It's a lot of ranged, powerful weapons there. Um, well, I mean, the, the carbine always felt very different from the battle rifle, and the light rifle, again, looks slightly different, but I think the kind of ones that are going to be the most similar are the battle rifle and the DMR, because they're pretty much the same weapon, except one's burst fire and one's single shot. Yeah, but then I would also think that the, um... Oh, oh nice! nice. <laughs> <laughs> you stole my kill, but nice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I always felt that like they were never in the same game, but the Covenant Carbine and the Battle and the uh, DMR to me would seem similar because they're both like the the this the DMR feels like would have more power and recoil, but probably do the same amount of damage and range and accuracy. Well, like, the Covenant Carbine was always like very very accurate and very very fast, but not that strong per shot. Like you could pump out a whole clip very very quickly, but in terms of damage per shot, it was never that dangerous. Whereas the, uh, the the DMR is packs a bit of a punch, I always think. Fucking hell, the amount of grunt. One thing I love about Reach is they really, really managed to like um, perfect the engine and get a shit ton of troops on screen at once. Yeah, there's sometimes. I mean, yeah, there, yeah, there is battles when you can can feel overwhelmed. It feels like a war in this one. It doesn't just feel like you're fighting a couple of random ragtag ragtag units. And I suppose it, it all points in the Halo franchise. Like in Halo One, it's um, the Covenant were kind of weren't expecting us to be there, so it was it was more like a guerrilla war. So I understand it on that one. Halo Two. Oh, it's just like one fleet, though, isn't it? It's just the Arbiter's fleet, whereas the Arbiter's fleet's part of this attack force, as well as about fifty others. Yeah, but then I <laughs> their their assault on Earth, where they didn't expect humans to be on Earth, that was just purely because they couldn't pull off a on invasion. Well, they didn't expect humans to be there, though. No, but I think from a that's I don't think that was a storyline decision. I think that that was a uh, weak on. Oh yeah, they couldn't uh, do it at the time because they had to write in a reason why they couldn't show all these enemies on screen. It does mention in Halo Two because I've just had to play through it that uh, the fleet that's attacking reaches uh, 50 times the size of the one that attacks Earth. Yeah, because they because they knew that uh, Reach was our, this is our stronghold, isn't it? Oh, this is the military heartland of the human kind of empire across the galaxy. That's why it's such a fucking shock when it gets destroyed. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought it was quite fairly ballsy for Bungie to um, set the first game right after this huge battle and just really casually mention it. I think it's brilliant when they do something like that because it gives you a lot of... Um, you've got a lot of, they created a lot of intrigue around what Halo was, but also how, you know, the situation that led us there and stuff. Yeah, it kind of teased you of how bad the Covenant were. I mean, yeah, when you read some, when you read the books and you hear, like, you know, they're just brutal on some of them. I don't oh, like, yeah, why did they even bother fighting us on the land? I know, I know. It's uh, they're just way too powerful. The Covenant, really. I mean, not on Reach particularly, because isn't Reach? There's like underground caverns full of foreigner artifacts, and obviously they want to have a look. Well, at yeah, them. well, that's the reason they don't just destroy it outright. But uh, I think I was saying on the Halo Two video, one thing I don't understand why um, the Covenant ever devast like dominate humans on the ground is because uh, why humans have scorpion tanks, which is just the most overpowered fucking thing in the world. Oh, sorry, next shot in the back of the head. I'm Are dead. we doing the melee challenge? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do it. I need to take off her armor. I don't need. Oh no, no let's not fucking just do it. 
Can you assassinate them? No. <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> Me. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I stuck the dead one. Sorry, Nyx. I nearly got. I nearly avenged Simon. Oh yes, I punched him in the face. <laughs> oh well. Hunters, yeah, hunters aren't as scary. The only time hunters have really been scary is when you first start playing this game and then on fucking ODST when they just stomp all over you. Is this the right way? Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, oh shit, I'm dead. Oh shit. <laughs> I just turned around the corner, he was fucking standing there. The sword's dead. Sword's mine. I'm stuck. Oh, I was just saying, uh, yeah, before we came online, this actually might be one of the few last times we ever play Reach. I know, nice. um, that's why I, I've just been doing some last minute multiplayer um, matchmaking. Uh, yeah, to. Guys, someone come and chuck a grenade at me. I'm stuck. I'm back. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> well, yeah, how long till Hilo 4? Less than five a week. Days. Five, five days. They've now put a counter on the actual. Five days, an hour and a half. Oh fuck! What the hell? <laughs> I shot you in the back of the head with this shot. Jesus Christ, Simon! You walked in front of me. Hey man, if I'm there, everybody else better get the fuck out of the way. Where the hell did you even pick up that shotgun? I thought you got the sword. Oh shit, I've got a shotgun and a sword for this last bit. I'm completely gimped for this last bit. <laughs> it's like a complete. I'm just gonna long close range. quarters it. I'm just gonna close quarters it. <laughs> you say that as if you have an option. <laughs> Try and pull off an assassination with the sword, it looks badass. Uh, there's health there if anyone needs it. AI. Uh, I always need health. <laughs> That's my style. God, I tell you what, uh, Reach is a pretty grim looking place at this point in the story. Yep. Oh, and there's the Pillar of Autumn. Yes. Which, uh, as far as I'm concerned, is in the wrong place, but let's... Should we gloss over that one? My Pelican's ready. Clear LZ. I'll meet you there. Oh, I'm gonna miss this game. I think this is the one... Like, Halo 1, you know, was pretty... I'm not gonna say my childhood, because it wasn't, I wasn't that young when it came out, but... You were young enough, though. It was like, you know... You're still a young team. You were like, you know, the early years of your team. Your formative years. Yes. Whereas this one is... I'm just... I think I was really attached to this game because it's just... It's just great fun on all levels. Like, it, it's, it's, it's got the best storyline, single-player gameplay, visuals, and then it's got the best multiplayer as well. Yeah, a lot of people really don't like the multiplayer, and I never understood why, because it's the one I've probably had the most fun with since, like, LAN parties with Halo 1. I was never, I never clicked with like Halo 2 or Halo 3 multiplayer. Not that I didn't play them or enjoy them, I just was never that good at them. Whereas this one I started to get a bit better. You were still the best at the LAN parties on Halo 2. Well, yeah, that's because like I was the only one who had Xbox Live back in them days, so I might not have been very good when I went online, but I couldn't play with people who had only played against their mates or not played at all. I could dominate. Pretty much the same story with Halo 1 though, you know, like, not many, but the only time we ever really got there, there was only a few people actually won the game, so... Right, I'm being yet less than useful, uh, less than useless here. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've got the, uh, I've got the old sniper rifle. Have you, uh, seen that the, uh, well, by the time this video was up online, because it takes a fucking age to upload to YouTube, the uh, first couple of reviews for Halo 4 will be out. Yeah, there will be. Uh, yeah, IGN put a, um, a notice up saying that, well, like in a, a day, a review is going to be out. Oh, fuck me, suicide runs. Um, so, will you be will you be staying away from reviews or will you be ploughing into them to tease yourself a bit more? Well, I imagine that I'm going to have the game before, like I'm getting the game at midnight on the day it comes out. And I'm I'm on blackout until that point, so I just stood there and let him throw that grenade at me. Oh he threw it through your legs, you were pretty lucky. Stuck him. 
didn't give a shit. <laughs> oh, what the fuck, man! You just killed me. I know. <laughs> you got in the way again. Oh, he was dead for about five seconds before you th fucking react. Lag, man. Lag. Fucking lag of the brain. <laughs> lag of y your cock. Lag of your ma. <laughs> See, I'm not the, you're not the only one who can make your ma jokes in these videos. <laughs> that was a classic one. <laughs> oh, I was gonna fucking fuck him. It's really hard to do assassinations on brutes. I had him, man. I need to stop saying man as well. Oh, what the fuck man. was that? Uh, it was a chieftain with a fuel rod cannon. Oh, I'm gonna stay away from him. Yeah, I didn't. I wouldn't recommend it. He's not. He doesn't play fair. Boom! Oh shit, plasma! Oh no! I love that they really do throw brutes at you in this level. There's very few elites. Yeah, I'm quite glad about that. Until the end, and then they throw the fucking field marshal elites at you. I think the field marshal elite you fight at the end of this level is the only one in the game. No, I think there's an, isn't there another one on like one of the third levels because you don't get an achievement for killing him because it's like optional. Um, I don't know. Oh, for fuck! Are you? Is everyone dead? Oh shit! I just I wasn't paying attention. Shit. Oh, it's okay. We we're not that far back. Twat. Right. Let's get up on top of that base because the uh, the brutes are going to get chucked down on it. We'll probably get them before that. Maybe not, because there's a friggin' chief in there with a sticky launcher. He's dead. You guys you guys got power weapons? Yeah, Nicky's got the Hammer of Dawn, and I've got the, uh... The Hammer of Dawn? Isn't that from Gears of War? <laughs> it's just a much better name than Gravity Hammer. <laughs> I wonder if Gravity Hammers are going to be in Halo 4, because surely Brutes won't be. Why? Well, because, like, you know, elites fucking hate Brutes. So? Oh. So they're not going to be in the game, are they? Well, why? Well, because the whole the only covenant forces you fight in Halo 4 are the Storm Legion, which are led by elites. Oh wait, you see, I didn't know any of that, Ben. Thanks. Well, it's not exactly a fucking spoiler, is it? Well, what did you think? Really, really, what did you think? The covenant was still around after Halo 3. Well, we haven't, uh, you know, you know, yeah. Well, you're you're an idiot then, because let's face it, they're, they're completely dissolved by the by. The, well, the Covenant's not even really around in Halo Three as it was. The elites have left. Only only like half the uh, grunts and stuff are still around. Right, I'm uh, I'm talking to Captain Keys for us. Or is he captain at this? He will be, won't he? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, he's Captain Keys. Yeah. Good to see you, Spud. You know what? If you you read the books, Ben, right? Not There's that maneuver that he gets promoted for called the Keys Loop. What is the keys loop again? Right, I have Bruiser. no idea. I've Adjusting read that chapter specifically no, just to try and work out what he does about eight times. And I need someone just to draw a picture copy? of it so I can. Uh, is it where he time. uses the um? There's like a big, like orbital um, shipyard that's like a giant plate. No, they, that is. I think that allows him to do the keys loop. Like it gives him time to think of it. But doesn't he move that in front of the, the between the two uh, like sh lines of ships? No, they just so it basically they, buys them time. They just move themselves there. Like without orders to give him time, and then he in that time thinks of what the keys loop is. I think that that plate moves of its own accord. I can't remember, it's years since I've read the book. Oh, here we go, so last awesome. member of Noble Team. Oh, no. I love how badass he is, though. Look at that. He's like the real tough one of the group, isn't he? At the start, he comes across like he's a bit of a dick. Get on, get on the, get on the pelican. Get on the pelican. Good luck, sir. Good luck to you. You know they the redid Captain Cage's model for this game, and it looks pretty good. But then they did for well, when Halo uh, Anniversary came along, his his model in that looks terrible. Yeah. It looks just really weird. I like old school Captain Cage. Well, there is a zealot elite up there. I've got him. <laughs> Stand back, guys. I got this. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Oh, shit. Where do you go? He's, they're retreating inside. There's two zealots and a field marshal in here. There's a field. As well as the obligatory, uh, obligatory grunts. Watch out. 
You got one coming up behind us. Oh, you came with my asshole? Yep, he's aggressive. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> You're on your own, Nyx. Oh, oh never mind. <laughs> God damn it, he took a shotgun boss to the face and just kicked me. That one that came up behind me isn't going to do that again, I tell you, I tell you that for free. Shit. Yeah, if you run out there, mate, you're gonna get, like, flanked. You're gonna get flanked. Well, I don't think it's possible, seeing as there's nothing behind us. Wait, look, I flanked him. <laughs> nice. There's another one coming your way. Oh, I got him. That's the field marshal. He doesn't like the fuck about. On his match.com profile, not liking fucking about is listed. <laughs> got one. Zell is down. The other. Field Marshal's still kicking. I got him, man. Oh shit. Watch, he doesn't whip out the sword. That's what he loves to do when he's like, last man's done. <laughs> oh, nice, Nyx. Oh, did she get him? Yeah, gravity hammer to the face. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> and that was after I hit him twice with a fusion cannon. <laughs> right, Nikki, for future reference, the Spartan lasers are here. Cool. I'll grab the map gun. So yeah, just focus on the banshees, otherwise they tend to like really pump by like, just pummel me. I hated this bit on legendary, even in co -op. Yeah, I was trying to work out how I did this on um, legendary on solo because you just get killed. Yes, it is yeah. hard. I had to look online how you do it and <laughs> You know this, the whole thing is you're trying to destroy the, um, that cruiser. Well, you hide behind that plate until it's in range and then shoot it once. Well, it does only just take one shot, like, it's just a case of staying alive until it gets in range. Yeah, but it's no fun, especially when there's loads of us. Yeah, oh, yeah, Christ, I wouldn't do it for the video, I mean, it's nice shooting things down. It's cool that you finally get to use a Mac gun as well, you hate rather than the boots all the time. In fact, you hear about them in the games quite a few. Like, there's the in Halo 2, you're on the Mac platform. Oh, that, that's really cool, that. I just like, right at the start, before anyone's attacked in Halo 2, it's like, yeah, don't worry, with all the, uh, with combined fire from these three Mac stations, nothing can get past Earth, and then within, like, six minutes, two of them have been blown up. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, well done, guys, well done. Are you uh, gonna pan to the right, then? I, I might may do. All stations, brace for cast-off. There, so, we've, uh, there's Captain Keys on board, and he's gonna plug Cortana into the computer, jump to Halo, and save... The galaxy. Oh <laughs> Pan to the right. Uh, is it letting me? Yes, it is. There he is. There's an Master Chief. Yeah, it really does beg the question, why he's in cryo sleep? You know, I mean, this is the guy that single-handedly destroys, like, halos and <laughs> saves of the earth, and, and no, no, we'll just let him sleep through Reach. Let me die. Yeah. Yeah, the, the Brooks handle it, where he's off doing a mission somewhere else to try and save Reach, or to save, or destroy some data that the government trying to get their hands on, he's doing something, and they pick him up en route. But not here. We're away. <laughs> So we got a nice little vacation on reach. Not that I'm bitter that I die, it was just a trauma at the time. <laughs> I'm a little bitter, because I think the worst thing is, like, Dr. Helsinki... I had real tears the first time. <laughs> you did, did you? <laughs> I really did. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, and we were just, uh, remember, you kind of were hoping that this was going to lead into a full remake of Halo 1. I know, when this came up, I was like, no, they didn't. Oh my god, they've remade Halo 1 in this game. And I was like, no, no, they haven't. Because, you know. They then charge just 40 quid. Just to make you pay 40 quid again. Yeah, the very next year. Cortana, all I need yeah, to yeah. Is <laughs> I think we both know the answer. I think the saddest thing about our character dying here is that Dr. Halsey, she never ever tells you what's on that. what Cortana has in her. I don't even know if she really knows, though, does she? Well, do, well, yeah, fair enough, she doesn't know. Um, but it's like, we've just sacrificed ourselves to save humanity, but we don't even know that. It's like, oh, we just give this captain a 
AI, and now we're dead. Whereas actually, that like we died not knowing that we were the key that saved the world. Fuck the chief, noble six. <laughs> Alright then, well, I'll just give the credits here, um, and we'll do the final part. Oh, I forgot about this. This is Oh, this is the bit you don't like, isn't it, Nikki? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, are we going to have a tactic? <laughs> um, stay alive. Don't die. That's what all the tactic can be in this game. Well, not in this game, in this bit. It's a ballsy ending, to have it where you're basically, you know, you're inevitably going to die. I just feel sorry for you guys looking at your shitty armor when you could be looking at my beautiful armor. Mm. Yours is only your, your hair, man. Your, your armor's like six ranks below what I wear. Yeah, but it's it's ODST and it's lean. Right, let's get in position fast. Uh, I want a fucking gun turret for this. Damn right. <laughs> I like how there's only two and Nick's doesn't get one. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm It'll gonna. It'll probably not save us. <laughs> I'm gonna drop the gun here because I'm gonna go out there because that's where the bubble shield is, and that was bloody. I love the mist. You can't really tell what's out there. I also like the fact that there's like loads of just dead Spartans just strewn about the place. It's so depressing. I mean, this this is mid glassing the planet now, isn't it? Yeah, like pretty much it's the end. It's the very end. There's a green Spartan sitting there. Could be the Master Chief if he wasn't uh, asleep on the pillar of autumn. <laughs> I hope I hope he enjoyed his nap. Maybe well rested. <laughs> it's the last one he gets for like three weeks. Surely yeah, that is head. really funny. Yeah, because in in the first strike book, which is set just after um, Halo One. He actually has a fist fight with the Arbiter on the bridge of the Arbiter's ship before you know it's the Arbiter. Is it the Arbiter though? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's um, mentioned somewhere that it was uh, the Arbiter that... Uh, yeah, it's in one of the uh, the books from Arbiter's perspective. He's like really pissed off at the Chief. Bit. I thought he killed that Two elite No, no, he... Oh, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Maybe you're the, right. The the only time I can recall that he has a fist fight with the Arbiter is in one of the um, Halo Legends animes, where the uh, Arbiter's like a, a he's in red armor and he has a, a sword fight with the Chief with plasma swords. That's badass. It's a bit corny to be honest. More elites, my sad. Well, anyway, during that section, the Chief's like, "Oh shit, me." I think you're just like yeah. a, a attracting the elites, Jesus Christ, I've seen none of the other strikes. There's only two now. One now. No. Oh no, there's, there's two. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Oh, what the fuck's that? I'm out. Bye, Nick. You know, if you run, you die, Simon, I think. Only if you go too far. Mix is down. <laughs> you running and gunning with a sniper rifle. Yeah, maybe that's not the best idea. Oh sh Oh shit. And in front of you. <laughs> oh that was such a waste. <laughs> well I did yeah, that was my amazing skill there, thanks for watching. I can press uh, bubble shield button and then die. Right, just basically you're dead at this point, you've taken your helmet off, but still look how many elites you're just fucking up. You're just. You're just Man, the, there is a glitch here that, because um, I'm actually just seeing a Spartan in white armour. There's a glitch if you're not the last one dead, it just shows a generic Spartan in white armour, it doesn't show your Spartan. So you'll be seeing your Spartan, won't you, Simon? Yeah, you, are you not seeing anyone? No, I'm just seeing a, a random Spartan in white armour, there's a glitch where it doesn't load up your model. Oh, right. I'm seeing a random helmet now, it's not my helmet. My helmet is there and it's awesome. Oh, and uh, there you go, Nikki, he's down. Are you crying? No. Yeah. <laughs> not this time. It didn't take oh, well, then that's uh, our enemy 
was that's pretty much the end of efficient. our Halo highlights, and this is the last game before Halo 4 comes out in For you, a little under a week. Um, well, I'm so excited. And because of you, yep, it's been oh god, what? It's been five years since we had a, like a true sequel. Oh, too long, Ben. Our victory. It's a long time for him to be hovering in space doing nothing. I wish you could have. And he's gonna wake up to a nice, uh, you know, welcome of. Your body, well, armor, <laughs> a ship, his ship armor, crashing, another ship dance. crashing, um, Covenant Except trying to kill him, and uh, the Forerunners return. Forerunners. Yeah, so it's not going to be his best morning. And with it, <laughs> no, I, I think it's like it's like the worst Monday morning ever. <laughs> Especially to him, he's like he got put in cryo sleep about what ten minutes after the events of Halo Three, so he'll he'll wake up feeling well rested. But but well, <laughs> all that shit was like ten seconds ago. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, this is uh, this has been the final video of the Halo highlights. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, so uh, I've been Ben. I've got of course Simon with me. See you later. And uh, Nikki. So thanks very much for uh, joining us. Nikki. Bye.